them or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shayna and I do videos on fashion, lifestyle, and beauty. So if you are into that sort of thing, please click on that subscribe button down below um, if you like these types of videos. And then if you'd like to be notified every time I do upload, you can hit that little bell notification and it will let you know. So happy new year to you all. This is my first video of 2023. Um, I shared on my Instagram stories that Basically, since the beginning of 2023, we have all been sick. Something every week has happened, whether it was ear infection, stomach bug, cold, head cold, what, what, mind you, whatever it was, um, we have been very sick. And I really wanted to get this video up early um, because today we are going to, I'm going to show you guys my LV Agenda PM setup and how I use it. Um, last year, I took a year off from using it. Like I said, I'm a stay-at-home mom. So when I was working in the office, um, I used that thing like it was glued to me. Like I had to have it at all times. So I thought about it um, and I thought, you know what? I can still use that as a stay-at-home mom and I still want to use it. It helped keep me organized. I'm very old-fashioned when it comes to writing things down. I love to do that. It helps me remember things. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys... Um, how I set mine up. So anyways, I have actually been doing it since maybe 2016 is when I got that PM agenda and I have been using it ever since and I love it. It's definitely a forever piece in my collection. Um, but anyways, I wanted to mention this Starbucks cup here because it is awesome. My mom got me this for Christmas and it is definitely encouraging me to drink all my water for the day. I try to fill this up about four, four times a day but I just love it. It's so pretty. It's like iridescent. It's one of the Starbucks ones, of course, but mm, I love it so much. Anyways, let's get into the video. Um, I did also, at the end, I'm going to share um, this tote bag that I've been using um, because it's from, from a brand that um, is not really well known. And I kind of wanted to share it because it has been such a good bag to use for me. I'm not really a tote girl, but anyway, stay tuned to the end of, to the end of the video and I will share that bag. So let's get into the PM agenda. As I said, I've been using this since 2016. I always get the LV inserts as a Christmas gift every year. Um, and so this year, last year, like I said, I didn't do it. I just I don't know. I just was, I wasn't motivated to have an agenda last year and to use it. So anyways, this year I was like, I want to get back into it. But anyways, let's go ahead and unsnap it here. And you will see when you open it up, this is what you get. So I did get my initials hot stamped in this because I knew this was going to be forever piece. And with an agenda, I just feel like it makes it so much more personal whenever you've got your initials in it. I don't know. I really, really love that a lot. I love the size of this. And the reason why is I can also use this as a wallet um, in my larger bags. So you can put debit cards, you know, here, your store cards, whatever you use. Here I've got just some business cards right now. Um, and then in the very front, it has this pocket right here, which I do um, carry some stuff in. I have a picture with my son and my husband and Santa. <laughs> that was actually from last year. That wasn't this year, um, but I keep that in there. And then these are the stickers that came with the agenda refills this year. Super cute. I actually love the artwork on the refills this year. Um, there's been years that I wasn't too crazy about it, but this one I love so much. So you get those stickers. If you see me glancing to the side, I'm just watching my son on the monitor. I'm trying to make him lay down and take a nap, but so far, it's not working. Anyways, these stickers, um, there's some more that came with it. It's super cute. And then here's some leftover stickers from years past that I have. So I just kept hang, hung on to those, just a couple of those and a couple on there as well. So I just hung on, hung on to those leftover stickers. So when you open it up, you're going to see the dashboard, which is super cute. It's like this turtle um, carrying a bunch of Louis suitcases. I'll try to, so you can see that good. This is my little Tiffany pin. It was very hard to find a pin that would fit in this little loophole. And now my Tiffany pin, I think has stretched this little thing because it's having a hard time staying in, but I love this thing. 
Um, anyways, dashboard turtle with lots of Louis luggage on top of his shell. That is super cute. It just says Agenda 2023 and Louis Vuitton right here. And then when you turn, this is a very nice hard card stock that you get for the dashboard um, in this. And then the next page, Agenda 2023. I love how it has the perforated little tabs down here. I think you're supposed to tear these off as you go week to week. I don't. I just usually fold mine up. And then that way I can find my place. That way I just go to the last one and flip it. But that is what I do. And then the next page you have like a personal info page that I have yet to fill out. But you can put all of your personal info in there, I guess, if this were to get lost or what have you. Hopefully an honest person would return it. I doubt it because it's Louie, but anyways. Um, the next thing you have is all the holidays for 2023 listed for each month. I think that is very, very cool. Um, very good information there. And that's continuing with the holidays there. Let me get past those. Public and religious holidays here. I like this because it tells, um, it has like the different holidays in different countries. So I really, really like that a lot. It's very, very interesting. Okay, so getting on with the agenda, into the agenda. Got a little blank sheet of paper right here. And then this says voyages right here. This is a map key, legends key right here. And then voyages. You flip it, and you are in your first week of 2023. So 2022 into 2023. I have the week on two pages. I like this. I like using this little box down here as a to-do list for the week. I think that's very, very cool. Um, I like how you have all of the um, lines to write in like different appointments or things you have going on that day. I did not use that for the first week. And then starts January with the beautiful Louis orange color. So January. And what I use is a paper clip, this Tiffany blue like paper clip. I use it to just clip my pages together as the weeks move on. So I have last week's clipped and I'll just keep doing that for each month. So that way I can just flip to the week that I'm on, if that makes sense which that is the week that I'm on right there. And like I said, I just fold these little things down. It's so handy just to flip through. But anyways, the week on two pages. So you basically get that for every month. And I kind of just wanted to show you guys the illustrations for each month if I can. These little rings, I will say sometimes a con is that they're so teeny tiny, um, but so it's kind of hard to flip these pages. It's not a deal breaker for me, but I, I will say that is a little bit of a con maybe. Getting into February. Okay, here is February's illustration. So pretty. I love that. Got a little airplane there and some more luggage. And let's go ahead and flip to March's and show you that one. Green, and it is the turtle, like the one you saw on the dashboard. That's such a pretty green color. Love that. And then let's go to April, which is the pretty, got some more luggage right here. And some more luggage on the back there. So cute. I love these illustrations so much. They're so colorful this year. It's very, very nice. Um, April, we're getting into May now. <laughs> Got some monkeys there carrying some luggage. So, so cute. I love it. Very cute. And um, June is, looks like a little lighthouse. Very, very cute. Love this light blue color. Pretty. 
June. And then what I have done after June is I have taken this old dashboard from another agenda that it's not dated or anything, but I just love the way it looks. And I separated it from June to July, just because J January through June is half of the year, obviously. So I just used that for a little dashboard to separate. It's got the blue on that side and the green on that side. So here is July. Cute. It's like a little under the sea chest. See, there goes my pen. My pen just fell. Um, but anyways, I don't know what to do about that. July and my birthday month is next, which is August. Little old car there with some luggage on top. That is super cute. And September, more orange with a little bicycle with some luggage. Very cute. Pretty sure I've said each one is cute now. <laughs> October. The blue and orange is just so pretty together. November. And last, we have December with the little hot air balloon, which is super cute. I love those little hot air balloons. And then that is the end of the year, obviously. And at the very back, You have this, which I'm actually not quite sure what this is. It has January, February. I really don't know what that is. I might have to look into that. Or if you know, comment down below. And moving on, you get some little pieces of notebook paper like blank in the back here each time. One, two, just really two, so actually not a lot this time. And then that's the end, and then it comes with a plain white piece of cardstock for the end. And then these little Louis stickers I had actually gotten from another previous year that came with it. They're so cute. Um, I just haven't used them all yet. This one has like a um, notepad and a pen, and they're like full-size stickies. This one has a coffee cup, a heart, a plane for travel, and just like some little bullet points but they're like little individual, um, like little post-its. So very, very cute. And then, shoo, that scared me. I don't know what that was. It might've been like a little tr a tree limb fall. And we've had some bad weather here and now the wind is blowing really bad, but there is a little pocket here in the back, just like in the front. And I have in here my eye, my contact prescription. I've got, a med medical ID jewelry because I have been looking into getting a, a nice fashionable bracelet that I, I could wear that says that I have diabetes in case that I'm ever out and alone and something happens, but because I, I do have type 2 diabetes. And then this is my husband's and my um, vaccine card. So that's what I have in the back pocket there. Um, so yeah, that's what I keep in my PM agenda and that's how I use it. Excuse me, I'm picking up my Tiffany pen. If anybody has any tips or tricks of how, I'm not sure, I'm guessing that it's just this little um, thing has stretched out because when I first got this, probably the same time I got this, so 2016, it fit pretty snug in there and now it just is falling out. And I, of course, I don't wanna lose this pen. Um, so anyways. If you have any tips or tricks, let me know what to do about that. So that's what I keep in here. I love the size of the PM because it does fit in most bags. Um, so I, it'll even fit in my Palm Springs mini backpack. So I think that that is um, a really good plus to that, a good um, pro. But anyway, yeah, that I wanted to share that with y'all um, before it got too much later in the year. At least we're still in January, right? 
But anyway, let me move on to the bag that I wanted to share with you guys today. And it is by a company called Nuggetti. And here is what the tote looks like. This is in the color mink. Um, and it's kind of like a brown color. But this is the softest fabric I've ever felt. And this is actually um, leftover fabric from like fashion designer houses that they have just reused or repurposed. Um, let me see if I can get a shot of the tab there. Nugetti. It is just so soft. And I love how like slouchy the tote is. It fits so much. You can see down inside of there. It does come... Um, just like the Neverfull comes with a little pouch, this one does as well. This color is not showing up like it normally is on camera right now, um, but it's more like of a chocolatey brown. But anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing a review on this bag, or if you've never, I guess, researched this brand, um, I actually um, heard of them through a Instagram blogger that I follow, and I absolutely have been loving this tote. It is so easy. Such a good mom bag. I'm actually, like I said, not a tote girl. This is the only tote that I own, um, but I love this so much. It's so, so pretty, and I can't, I'm trying to get it in the full shot there, but anyways, if you're interested in seeing a video on this bag, comment down below. I'm probably going to make one anyways, just because I want other people to know about this brand, because it's so nice, and they have all different colors and different styles. They have like a mini and a um, they have like a jet setter tote, which is like more for travel. But anyways, I will link their website down below too in this video. But thank you guys so much for watching my PM agenda set up for 2023. And, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you would like, follow me over on Instagram. Like I said before, I share our life over there. Lots of fun stories, um, about, you know, it's still about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. I share a lot of family over there. Um, and I would love to have you join me over there on that platform as well. And then don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. I would very much appreciate it. I enjoy doing these videos. They're so fun to do and to make. So anyways, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.